There's certain people like that in the world. And you want to believe, you know, um, that people can, you know, from nowhere, you know, from rags to riches, you want to believe that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I do. I, I believe that stuff. My problem is, um, mm -hmm. where are these people? I mean... Why aren't they why, coming why forward? Why aren't so they really, alone? like, full force? Why are we so alone in all this? Well, well you know, some of, us, some of them do... You, con uh, Jason, you <laughs> yeah. know Bob Dylan knows about this stuff. Yeah, but at the same time, I went and saw... All right, I got to let you go because the echo, Jimmy. But at the same time, you know, I'm still paying... What did I pay? I paid $45 a ticket to see Bob Dylan six months ago, you know? I mean, he's still an icon. He still feels like, oh, I have my career. I don't know if I should come out. You remember when Charlie Sheen came out? I mean, he was attacked all over the place. He was on the covers of magazines again. He may have killed a hooker. He's in it with his ex-wife. I mean, even when Willie Nelson came on this show, he was attacked by O'Reilly and a bunch of other right-wingers. And I mean, the man is a legend. So people are sometimes self-concerned. Other people do have blind spots. Other people want to just keep to themselves. You know, I thank uh, filmmakers like David Lynch for coming out and saying, you know, take a look at this movie, Loose Change, and people like Peter Gabriel who wrote on their MySpace blog, please take a look at this film. You know, I think a lot of people have done small things. I wish that more people would step up to the plate and try to win some ball games because that's what I'm here to do. And, you know, I guess I do have that whole mentality where I did grow up poor. I really never have had anything. And to me, I'm the lowest common denominator. So if I'm not going to stand up for myself and people like me, no one is going to. And that's why I do what I do. You know, I'm not just up there taking swings. I'm taking cuts to knock it out of the park. And not everybody's going to have that mentality. A, a guy who does have that mentality is Larry Pratt, who's been in this for so long. So we really have to, I think, gather around those we do have and stop focusing on who we don't have and why they're not helping us out. Hey, if those people want to reach out, they can bring in an audience. But for now, we got to stick to what we got. Correct, Larry? Let me put it another way, because I quite agree. Mm -hmm. The principle that we're discussing is how do things happen in history, and frankly, majorities don't make things happen. And for us to wait around to get into gear until a majority is evident uh, is just uh, not the way it's going to get done. we got to be organized. We will get it done when we're organized and push it through. I couldn't agree more. And, you know, the American Revolution wasn't popular with everybody. It was a smaller segment of the population that got in there and said, yeah, and said, you know what? You're not going to tax me without representation. We're not going to be raped anymore. Final segment with Larry Pratt on the other side. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmas. The world appears to be on the brink of collapse. Experts say a pinch of heirloom vegetable seed could soon be the most valuable resource on Earth because it will provide healthy food now and every year after. SurvivalistSeeds.com now has the heirloom garden seed time capsule, allowing you to store your seeds for the future anywhere, even underground, for 100 years. The heirloom garden seed time capsule can withstand three tons of weight, is 100% rodent proof, waterproof, and comes with a whopping 6,000 healthy vegetable seeds from 20 varieties that will grow anywhere in the USA. Unless you trust the government, the Heirloom Garden Seed Time Capsule and Heirloom Seeds from SurvivalistSeeds.com is your long-term food solution. Our competition charges $0.10 cents to $1.25 per seed for these same heirloom varieties. But you can now have a head of lettuce, a bundle of carrots, a basket of tomatoes, a giant watermelon, and 16 other varieties for about a penny a seed each. Be prepared. Buy your heirloom seeds today from SurvivalistSeeds.com and have food insurance for your family forever. Visit SurvivalistSeeds.com. SurvivalistSeeds.com is owned by Big John Lipscomb, host of the Don't Tread On Me radio show. All right, folks, we are back. Final segment with Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America. I believe the website is gunowners.org. And, you know, go ahead, Larry. No, I was going to affirm that is the right address, gunowners.org. Excellent. And, you know, you just made a great point that throughout history, change never really comes from the majority. It comes from the minority. And names come out of nowhere. You know, I mean, Martin Luther King Jr., Gandhi, people that had real effects on human civil rights, they do. They come out of nowhere. Uh, our own founder was a California state senator for over two decades, H.L. Richardson. Mm -hmm. When he first got elected back in the 60s, he ran in a very Republican district, but it was an open seat, and everybody and his uncle was running. I think there were eight or ten candidates. Richardson won, uh, I don't even remember the exact percentages, but it was something like 8% of the vote. 
that was a majority of the few that were present and voting and had spread their votes across that large uh, group of candidates so that he uh, was somewhat better organized than the rest of them. And he was able to limp across the finish line with that very low percentage of just the low percentage of those that came out to vote, hardly even a a percentage uh, to speak of, of all the potential voters. He went on to hold that seat without serious opposition for 22 years. Yeah, and you know, you fast forward to modern times, the Alex Jones channel had about 30 million hits in 18 months. He was on the featured page every single day. So that is why that, you know, hacktivism and if you're anti-technology, in other words, you use MySpace to coerce people politically. They want to demonize us because we are starting to beat them at their own game with much less resources. Let me tell you, folks, we don't have one-tenth the money the smallest studio in Hollywood has. And we pump out two, three, sometimes four movies a year that hundreds of thousands of people see on the first day and millions see in the first week. It is unbelievable to me that people have not picked up on the fact that we are the reason that Google Video is still in its beta form, you know, four plus years later. We are the reason that they're mentioning, well, you know, if you're in the alternative media, you might be a terrorist. And, you know, if you have a Ron Paul bumper sticker, you might be a terrorist. And by the way, if you're handing out America freedom to fascism, you also might be a terrorist. I mean, America freedom to fascism, the great film that exposes the Federal Reserve for what it is, you know, this cartel that controls our lives. Larry, are people going to wake up to this or are we just going to, you know, put our heads down, bow down to Obama, love the Give Act, and go to the FEMA camps? Well, it seems to me that Obama has made a mistake that I didn't think he was going to make. I thought he was going to be uh, a continuation of the smiley face in the campaign, the voice of reason. Uh, and I didn't expect him to make so many overt moves that were so noticeable to anybody that's paying the slightest attention. Instead, he is openly grabbing for it all, and he's got more hubris and arrogance than even the Republicans had when they had their majority and they thought they would never get thrown out of office. Well, Obama's got that same attitude, and, and, and many times over, it seems like, and I, I think what he's done is produce a reaction that, in part, the market itself is registering. People are buying guns and ammo like crazy, and already I've seen people doctoring up uh, photos of Obama with the legend, Firearm Salesman of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the one encouraging point, that people are out in droves buying ammunition, buying guns, especially ones they think are going to be banned. <clears throat> My right-wing conservative gun-owning friends are very concerned. They've gone out and they've doubled their stockpile. Larry Pratt of Gun Owners of America. It's gunowners.org. Thank you for joining us. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, prisonplanet.tv, infowars.com, and remember my little blog, theinfowarrior.com. I'm